Sports Video Group's Jason Dackman. We are at the NAB Show in Las Vegas, and I am with Eric Weaver of Western Digital. Eric, thanks so much for taking the time. Appreciate it. Absolutely welcome. Glad to be here. So, Eric, uh, one of the foremost experts on the world of storage. Uh, one thing that we have seen in storage over the last few years has been uh, interest in object storage. Not necessarily a huge wave of people jumping on board, but a lot more people becoming interested. And we may finally be getting to a point where we're seeing the M&E industry embrace it. Where are you seeing object storage move in this sector for media? So what you're going to find is that the technologies are changing right now. Um, MAMR, or basically microwave-assisted magnetic recording, is coming around, which is going to increase the size of the drives coming up. So right now we're at about 14, 15 terabytes. That's going to go to 40 terabytes by 2025. So this rapid progression basically is going to force people towards object storage. Because when you're looking at an 8 teradyte drive, you run into something called the RAID wall. And so when you're rebuilding that drive, to, for, for any reason that might have failed, it might fail in rebuild. So the idea that you're going to rebuild a 20, 30 terabyte drive is just non-reasonable. Right. So we're hitting a breaking point where object storage is going to become almost the only solution, essentially. Well, it, it's absolutely, if you need to scale up and out, right. that is going to be the only real choice there. And that's why all the clouds use that. So uh, one of the big trends this year for storage uh, at NAB, we're all expecting NVMe to be, uh, we've already seen several announcements about uh, various companies releasing NVMe uh, products for storage. Um, what's the impact going to be there, and, and how do you see NVMe impacting uh, media and content producers? So it's absolutely the year of the NVMe. The, the prices have radically dropped on NVMe, and so NVMe is actually going to be just coming out all over the place in the industry. The performance you can get is absolutely crazy. But the other thing that you might see, or you're gonna begin to see, is NVMF. So you gotta be aware of that NVMe over fabric. And what that means is that now all of a sudden you can have a series of stack uh, NVMe uh, appliances going up that you can use as a shared storage appliance. So uh, some of these things we've seen numbers around are getting as much as 80 gigabytes a second. So I just came from Avid Connect, forgive me, and they're talking about doing 16K 32-bit color. Well, this is what you're going to need if you're going to a anywhere beyond 4K raw uncompressed. Right. As, as uh, Media Composer becomes 32-bit color space, yeah, I think uh, you're going to have to have the storage to deal with that exactly. And speaking of, as these libraries are growing, these archives are growing, there's a need for transparency, right? There's a need to know what's in there, how your storage is being used. Uh, how are you seeing media companies try to figure out, uh, you know, how to best manage their storage and be as efficient as possible as it grows? So that's actually a great subject because what we're seeing is something called abstraction. And abstraction basically takes your assets and it creates a hash of some sort, usually a C4 or some other kind of hash mechanism, and it separates your metadata from your content. And what's great about some of these tools is you can index or do this abstraction layer on your content across multiple layers of different storage, be it your Amazon S3 bucket, be it your primary storage, be it your object storage, be it your tape libraries or drives individually and now you're going to be able to see exactly what media you have where it lives and also calculate things like what is the cost and why is it on this particular tier to be able to set up rules eventually and the rules might say hey if this has been on the tier one 90 days and not touched maybe it needs to be archived to an object storage so this is going to create a lot of radical improvements in understanding exactly what you have and managing that data across so many different environments. Well, we're seeing a lot of rapid innovation on the storage side. We'll see some at the Western Digital booth, I'm sure, at NAB. Eric, thanks so much. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And stay tuned to sportsvideo.org throughout the NAB show for all the news from Vegas.